Flight Risk Music. Billy Squire, the King of Arena Rock. In the early 1980s, Billy Squire was one of the biggest rock stars in America. With his catchy guitar riffs, anthemic lyrics, and dynamic stage presence, Squire became known as the King of Arena Rock. Squire gained fame as the lead singer and guitarist of the band Piper in the 1970s. After Piper disbanded, Squire embarked on a successful solo career, releasing his smash hit album Don't Say No in 1981. Don't Say No featured arena rock classics like The Stroke, In the Dark, and My Kinda Lover. These infectious songs, propelled by heavy MTV rotation, turned Squire into a household name. Over the next few years, Squire continued his chart dominance with songs like Everybody Wants You, Emotions in Motion, and Rock Me Tonight. Squire performed in front of massive crowds, cementing his reputation as one of the era's preeminent live acts. His appeal stemmed from his ability to write simple, melodic hits, and his high energy shows a total of raw power and sex appeal. By the mid-1980s, the tides began to turn on arena rock as MTV shifted its focus towards pop, dance, and hair metal. Squire's 1984 album Signs of Life alienated some fans with its radio-friendly, synth-driven sound. While he managed a minor comeback with the 1986 arena rock album Enough is Enough, Squire struggled to recapture his early 80s fame. Nonetheless, Billy Squire remains one of the defining arena rock stars of the early MTV generation. His tight, hook-filled songwriting and passionate performance inspired later rock hits like Bon Jovi's Livin' on a Prayer. Even decades later, sports arenas inevitably fill up whenever Squire takes the stage to revisit his classics and demonstrate why he earned the title, King of Arena Rock.